Hey everyone, it's Bill Benner here from Scanner Max Division of Pangolin Laser Systems. We're here at Photonics West, kicking in San Francisco. So today I'm going to show you a new invention, an innovation from Pangolin. It's a motor. And so what we've had here is for the past several years, since about 2012, we come up with the Saturn series of optical scanners. Now the Saturn series is known for very high acceleration and especially well known for staying cool, right? So we've had a customer who came to us, not with an application, just with a question. They said, can you make a continuous rotation motor that has the same qualities and capabilities as your scanners? Because if you did, you'd really have something that nobody else has. And so we took that on as a challenge and at first we said, no, it's impossible to do that because to do that would require us to fit even more wire into the scanners. This is the inside of a Saturn 9 I'm holding here in my hand. You can see that this sucker is absolutely packed with wire. So how the heck are we gonna fit even more wire into this, this type of scanner to make it go round and round? So, we, so, so it took us about a half a year to figure out how to do that. It's kind of a geometry problem, but we figured it out. And so what we were showing here today is a motor give you an example of the capabilities of this motor it can go because it's a sine cosine drive it can go very slowly as slow as you would ever want one revolution per day if you want it can go very quickly up to 120,000 rpm it accelerates extremely quickly more than 12 million radians per second squared that means it can go from zero a dead stop to 120,000 rpm in only one millisecond so today, what I'm gonna be just showing you here, we have the motor running here. Right now, we uh, have it running at, let's see, this is um, 10 RPM, which is one revolution every six seconds. And I just put in these business cards there to just kinda, of, so to be more visible on the camera. So I'll, I'll show you a, a typical thing that a scanner might do. A back and forth motion like this is a simply 90 degrees we can have this go change that 90 degree and put that anywhere within the within the space move that 90 degree around no problem we can change that 90 degrees to any anything smaller or faster yeah we'll get there in a second we can go um, oh, more narrow angles, wider angles. Let's see. So basically any kind of angle profile. Now here I'm gonna show you it go from, basically this angular profile is gonna go 30,000 RPM clockwise, and then I'll make it go 30,000 RPM counterclockwise, and then I'll make it go back to this motion profile. In fact, I'm looking at this video here will make that motion profile a little bit wider like this. So ready for 30,000 RPM clockwise, here we go. 30,000 RPM counterclockwise. And back to that motion profile, it does this instantly. So let's talk about possible applications for this. Frankly, we have no idea what this thing is gonna be used for, but since it was just a technical challenge, can you do this? Yes, we've done this. Now, possible applications may be moving a grating wheel either very slowly or very quickly or both, moving an aperture wheel slowly or quickly or both. You could, we envision an, a, a wheel that has multiple little apertures around the uh, periphery in different sizes and shapes that can be instantly indexed by this type of motor. And so, really, this uh, the, the point is just to show you what we've got here. And if you've got an application for this, we'd love to hear from you. This technology can be scaled upwards or downwards. We can make it smaller, bigger, whatever, whatever you need. And so just let us know what you think about this. And we look forward to hearing from you soon. Thanks.